Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be talking about is the Vessel View mobile product. Um, if you're like me, you may have bought a uh, new Mercury 4-stroke. Uh, your graphs don't actually have the Ethernet connection connected to your motor, so you can't tell what the engine hours are. Um, if anything in the engine's going on, um, you wouldn't really know what's up with it. With this device, you'll actually be able to report on engine hours, fuel, any uh, defaults or any codes that are getting thrown from your motor. You'll be able to see it on your mobile app which is uh, pretty cool. So I bought the Lowrance Elite 9 graphs for my boat and I can't, I'm not networked into the motor. So the guys recommended this product. They said, you know, it's pretty plug and play. It takes about five minutes to install. Um, I looked on the internet and I did find a couple of videos for the newer Mercury's. Just be aware that if you do buy this product, the instructions that are included in here are for the older two strokes. So thus me doing this video, I'm trying to put something fresh out there for those that have the newer motors wanting to use this product. The connection's actually in the back of the motor, still real easy. And then uh, there wasn't very many instructions out there about where to mount it. I found one video and I'm actually gonna steal it from him. He uh, put it on the side where you pull the cover off of all your wiring. He put it right there on the side and it looked real clean. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll show you guys that today. Um, all right, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I already took the uh, engine cover off. Uh, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pull this off. now. There are two rubber grommets here and then two rubber grommets here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back and push up uh, real gingerly light. Doesn't take much. So you can see I've barely pulled on that, pulled up, and then there's all of our wires which we're gonna work with. All right, next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this terminator off. Now, this is really important. When you take this terminator off, you're gonna to wanna to lay it aside. Now this is actually gonna go back on the new cable that I'll show you here in a second. Do not put the other terminator on there, which I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Otherwise this won't work. So to do that, it's pretty simple. You just push down on this little tab here and then gently pull out and it just pops right off. So um, push that down, pull off and it snaps off. All right, so here's the terminator. We just pulled off the motor in the back. Here's the harness that comes in the package. So it comes out the same way. There's a little tab right here at the top. Just push that, squeeze it, pulls off real easily. And then we're going to put this one on. Same thing, just slides right on. Um, just a nice little gentle push, and you'll hear it clamp. Now she's ready to go. Now, when you get this onto the motor, you'll see that it has the Bluetooth uh, indication light that should be green, as well as the light that says SmartCraft. Both of these will be green when we have the boat on key on, and it should light these both up. That tells us we got a successful connection. All right, let's put these on. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, just to make this easier with one hand, I'm going to lay this in here right here, just get it out of the way for a second. This is the connection that goes right back into the motor. So we're just going to slide that in like so. Real easy like. Should hear it just snap. Perfect. All right, so we got a lot of loose cable here. So this is the terminator that came off of the boat. Now it's onto this cable. What we need to do now is zip tie this, get it all clean, so that way I can put the cover back on. And then what we're gonna do here in a second is I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna mount this to get it out of the way. What ultimately we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on the side of that cover. It comes with a nice little screw hole. I'll drill a little pilot hole and get that on there so it'll be nice and clean on the outside. I don't believe there's anything here that's really gonna to get too hot. This should be out of the way under the cover and it should be good and protected. All right, so got me a zip tie here. Got one sitting right here. I still have my rubber grommets here. This is where the cover is going to go on and I still feel like I think I have enough room here. So let's put the cover on, test her out. All right, so we got, we're almost there guys. So we got the cap back on, everything's good. It's nice and secure. Nothing's going to be moving around. Our last step is going to be putting this cable on here. And this is about where I'm going to put it. See, I'm going to mount it to the outside here. I'm going to drill me a little hole screw that sucker down and then this thing should be nice and snug and secure and it shouldn't go anywhere let's go and knock that out all right there we go so mounted me a screw right here and just got it right nice and flush against that it looks real clean i put another zip tie here i'll clip this pigtail off but yeah that looks really good so let's crank her on i'll get it set up i'll show you guys what the mobile screen looks like like i said we got to see two flashing lights to make sure it's good to go all right, guys, I just put the uh, motor in the key on position. Obviously, I didn't turn the motor all the way on. But uh, as you can see, I've got the green light for SmartCraft and the Bluetooth lights working. So when you download the mobile app, that's the last step, you will uh, be able to connect to this device and start your setup, create your login for the uh, app, 
and it's pretty easy. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we got the boat in the on position. Should be able to connect now to the device set up on the boat. There it is, Ron's Bass Boat. Once you set yours up, you can name it whatever you want. And it'll load up. This is what you see. So none of this here I probably will use because your graph should be able to report your RPMs or your gauges, your miles per hour. What I really bought this for was this feature right here. So you can see the faults of your motor. You can see if there's something throwing a code. You can look at the maintenance schedule for your boat. So as you can see, my boat's got 13.2 hours. Here's all the different types of maintenance uh, schedules that exist for this motor and the number of hours that are left. So the way you'll know how long you have. And then what's cool is, is once you do it, you can actually go through here and check off which ones you've done and it'll save it in your history. You know, there's some other things in here that you can see that uh, I guess is pretty cool. Like you can add, like if you're going fishing, like where you caught a fish, location, pictures, things like that. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other cool features as I get in here. Uh, if I find some cool stuff, I'll let you guys know on a future video. All right, well, uh, if you guys uh, like the uh, instructional video, be sure you leave comments, like the video, subscribe if you like. Be out in the lake here in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care.